So I, I am so excited that today we're going to be learning about prayer. My name is Susie. I am Peter's sister. And I am so, so excited that we're going to be learning about prayer. I can't wait for Philip and Peter to get here. Oh, look, here's my brother Peter. Hi, Peter. Hi, Susie. How are you doing? I'm doing well, Peter. Is Philip coming? Yeah, he's coming. He's there on his way. Don't you see him coming? Oh, I see him now. Hi, Philip. Hi, Susie. Hi, Peter. How are you guys doing? We're doing fine. Yeah, I'm also doing fine, Philip. So what are we going to be learning today about prayer? Today, we're going to be learning about focusing on God in prayer, just as how Jesus taught his disciples. Wow, I'm so excited. I am really, really excited. Aren't you excited, Peter? I am very excited. I am so excited, Philip. I am very excited, Susie. So can we say a prayer before we begin? I really like hearing prayers. Yeah, sure. We can say a prayer before we begin. Father, we thank you that today we are going to be learning about prayer. We pray that you may open our minds and our hearts, that we may understand everything you want us to understand. Lord, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yay! I really, really, really am so, 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 so excited to learn about prayer. So what are we going to be learning about prayer today, Philip? Well, we're going to be learning about focus. What do you guys think focus is? I don't really know, Philip. What could focus really be? I don't know. I think that focus means you're, you're thinking about something, that you keep on thinking about something in your mind and, and you just let yourself be thinking about it a lot. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Susie. Focus is thinking about something, is letting something be on your mind and thinking about it. And that's the same thing that is focusing on God. Focusing on God is thinking about God and letting Him be on your mind. So today we are going to be reading from the book of Matthew, chapter number, five, number 6, from verse number 9, all the way to verse number 15. So, who wants to read for us? I do, I do, I do, Philip. I really want to read for us today. I even came with my Bible. And so, the Bible says, This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say our Father in heaven? You mean God is our Father in heaven? Yes. Yes, Peter. God is our Father in heaven. Wow. I know, right? I think mean, God is our Father. It's so exciting. Let me continue reading. Your kingdom come. Your name be done. Your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive also those who debt against us. Lead us not into any temptation, but deliver us from evil. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive you your sins. Wow, that's very interesting. Yes, yes, it is very interesting, Peter. And so we're going to be looking at some points or things that we should focus on. What things do you think we should focus on as you've read the scripture? Well, I, I think like, um, 
like um like um Peter said at the beginning or when he was reading that we should focus on God being our father that we should always remember when we are speaking to God we are speaking to our father you're right Susie you're very very right when we are praying we should remember that God is our father and he is a father who loves us that's very true as in I I am so excited to learn and understand that God is our father Philip you mean that God loves us so much he is our father and he cares about us and we should just be thinking about that yes Peter we should be thinking about God being our father and how much he loves us that's what we should be focusing on Another thing we should be focusing on is on praising God because God is so big. He is so big that we should be focusing on him. Yeah, but if God is so big, Philip, how can we not focus on him? But I think that sometimes, you know, there are so many things that are troubling us in our lives that we can have so many bad things happening that we can forget to see how big God is. Yes, Susie. Yes, sometimes we can have many things that are troubling us and it can feel as if God is not there. But we should always remember to praise God because he is so big. We should always remember that God is a big God and he is always in control. So you're telling me that God is always in control of everything? Yes, Peter. God is always in control of everything and we should always focus on that, that he is in control. And another thing we should focus on, let me try, let me try, let me try. Okay, 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 Peter, you can try, you can try. I think that we should focus on what God wants to do. Like it says here, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That means that there is something that God wants to do in our lives. Wow, Peter, that's so amazing. Yes, yes, Peter. God wants to do something in our lives. And we should always, when we talk to God, remember to ask him or focus on what he wants to do in our lives. Because God has a plan for each and every one of us and that is what is called his will god has a plan for you you and for me wow you mean god has a plan for me like he has like 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 literally he has a plan for me and my life that everything is planned out wow wow philip really philip that sounds so amazing philip Yes, it is. Because God loves us, there he has a plan for us. And then something else that we should focus on is, we should focus on God's provision. That means that God wants to provide for us as his children. Just the same way that mommy and daddy provide for us. You mean the same way that they are always taking care of us. God wants to take care of us. Wow, Philip, Philip, you're always showing us amazing things in the Bible. Like you mean that God wants to care for us. God has provision or he wants to give us things that we need. Yes, yes, guys, yes. God wants to give us and has things that we need. He wants to provide for us. And that's why before asking anyone else, we should always ask God. We should always go to God and ask him to provide all that we need. And so that is also what we should focus on. And then something else that we should focus on is forgiveness. When we talk to God, we must remember to forgive others just the same way that God forgave us. So you're telling me that when I am talking to God and Peter does something wrong to me, 
I should forgive him? Like if he steals my cereal or if he steals my stuff and uses them without asking, I should forgive him? Yes, yes, Susie, you should forgive him as you speak to God because God also forgave you for the sins that you have done. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, Philip. I remember you telling me that, that Jesus Christ died for us on the cross, that Jesus took all of our sins and our shame and he has forgiven us. That's amazing. So I should be forgiving other people, even the people who have hurt me and people who have taken my stuff, I should forgive them? Yes, you should forgive them because God has also forgiven you and God loves you. And when you forgive them, you are showing them God's love. Wow, it's so hard, Philip. What you're saying, Philip, is so hard. It's so hard. But yeah, I know it can be hard. But when we ask God or when we talk to God and ask him to give us love, we are able to forgive others. So Philip, you're telling me that God can give us love. He can give us love for our enemies. Yes, God can give us love for our enemies. And that's why we are always to pray and ask for God to forgive us and to give us love to forgive other people. And lastly, what do you think we should focus on? Well, I'm thinking here, as I'm looking here, it's saying that God should deliver us from the evil one, from temptation. So I'm thinking that maybe we should focus on God protecting us, that God is the one who is protecting us when we talk to him. Wow, Susie. Susie, you're very, very smart. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, Susie, that is very, very nice. That indeed the enemy, the devil, is always looking to destroy us. But when we pray or when we talk to God, we should always remember to focus on asking for God to protect us. So those are some of the areas that we can focus on when we are talking to God. We should always remember that God is our Father. So as you pray, remember that God is your Father. We should always remember to praise God. That means to tell God of how big He is, how loving He is, and how caring He is. And, and, and I think also, like you've said, that we should focus on what God wants to do because God has good plans for us and he has a plan and a purpose for our lives. And we should also, and we should also focus on, you know, God wanting to provide for us just like mommy and daddy. God wants to provide for us and... We should also focus on forgiveness and asking God for protection because God has forgiven us and he loves us. And God wants to protect us from the enemy so that the enemy will never destroy us. So Philip, is there a song we're going to be listening to today? Yes, there is going to be a song that reminds us to focus on God. Let's listen in. Even though I cannot see Your presence is in this place Though sometimes it's hard to remember Your promises to me One thing I know Your spirit is moving One thing Thank you. 
So that's it for today, guys. Let's say a prayer as we finish. Lord, may you help us to focus on you as we talk to you. May we remember, Lord, that we are your children. Lord, always remind us how much you love us and you care for us. Lord, we pray that you will be with us and that you will remind us you are there protecting us and that you have good plans for our lives. Lord, we thank you and we bless you. We pray that you be with us until we meet next time. Goodbye.